Well, good morning. It's another beautiful day. Falls starts next week. You can feel it in the air around here. It's about high 40s this morning. I had to I had to dig out my long sleeve Carhartt. Anyway, uh, still got the shorts though. Anyway, um, I was driving down here just now. My buddy called me that was helping me yesterday. He said he talked to his friend, our friend, who is uh, going to be supplying the gravel. He said, you know, you really got to get all of this out, all this orange, yellow, orange dirt out. You know, ideally, we'd have a dozer push this. We don't have a dozer. Um, you know, the topsoil on the edges ideally should be pushed back before we put any gravel in here. The bottom line is, I don't know what's going to happen today. We may spend the whole day stripping continuing to strip of course we still have what we didn't get done yesterday to get even down to this level um, but I you know I don't want potholes in my driveway <laughs> I've been fixing potholes at my current house for 15 years every spring I go out with my tractor get a little gravel fix potholes you know so I'm feeling pressure to get this done because I only have the machine for a couple more days and because I have you know my other friend picking up stumps tonight B bottom line is he could drive on this driveway without the new gravel on it it's bumpy but it's doable you know so this is one of those moments in the build where it's it pays just to take a deep breath which is what I did after I finished that conversation this morning. Take a deep breath. Think about it. Think about this is my house for the rest of my life. Which hopefully is a long time. Think about not buying a load of gravel every spring. Or millings or whatever it is. And maybe, you know, renting the excavator for an extra day. I mean, the place I rented it from is looking for it. But if I tell them, look, I need another day, they're going to give me another day. So... <laughs> we may uh we may just spend the day i don't know we may just spend the day stripping maybe we can get it to the point today where we're starting the gravel and we spend all day tomorrow graveling but in the big scheme of it the view from thirty thousand feet is we're talking about one day's worth of work to get this absolutely right and sometimes that's what it takes i mean i'm feeling the pressure to get this done you know it's the first time i've really uh felt any stress in this project so i've learned just to take a deep breath think about it let some time pass and uh and things will become clearer so I want a good driveway, bottom line. So we'll see what happens. I'll take you along for the ride. Probably be more time lapse today. Um, so we'll see. I think I'm going to get started this morning trying to clean up the edges a bit uh, before my buddy gets here. And then we'll, he and I will talk about what we're going to do. So maybe you'll know before I will. All right.
Welcome to my wife, first time down the driveway. Right? Wow. Right into the Grand Canyon. Yeah. Seven loads in there we put in. Alright, we having lunch? Sure, I'll drive right. up and go. Yeah, I'm gonna go get the skid steer. That's Tom in there, loading stumps. That's the big one he's got there. That's the biggest one on the property. Sucker's heavy. I tried to get as much of the soil off as I could while he was, he was gone. I'm going to gently put that down, I would assume, not drop it. Boom. end of a uh, great day we had a great day today we got a lot done we had uh, the goal was to get the gravel in the driveway today we got that done we did two loads yesterday with nine loads today needs a couple more to touch it up and we'll get those done tomorrow uh, Tom came and took two loads of stumps got a 30 yard container dump truck two loads of stumps so it took care of all the stumps and then the third load was, you know, there was about five or six stumps left. Then he started in with the brush and he took two loads of brush. So four loads total. I don't know if he, he might be able to come back tomorrow and take another one. I hope he can because, but if not, that's an amount of brush that I can handle. I can, I could burn it in small fires. I could take it home on my 20 foot trailer and, uh, and burn it at home. No one cares where I live. I've been burning stuff for years down there, big big fires. So the machine's going going home tomorrow afternoon. But uh that thing doesn't owe me a dime for the amount of work I got done with it. All the uh excess materials piled up neatly. That's topsoil, that's subsoil. We're gonna have to lose that in the lawn after we uh finish the house but look at this driveway i'm thrilled we got this three inch minus and it packed and it's gonna pack all winter and uh i did all this i put all this in with uh the excavator 
and then I backbladed it with my tractor because I'm way better on my tractor than I am in a skid steer. Plus on a tractor you feel like you're outside and a skid steer is claustrophobic, I don't know. So I backbladed it and then I would track it in with the excavator. So there's 11 loads in here, 200 and some yards. And uh, it's, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. It's, it's exactly what we need. It's not certainly a finished product, but it's a good construction entrance. Allows us to access the property. And uh, this will have several months to pack in and give me a real good base. Now the only other big project I want to do with the machine while it's here tomorrow, I'm hoping I can get this done, is bail this, bail this stuff out so that when the water comes down the driveway, so that's going to get built up a little more in there with a couple more loads tomorrow morning. It's a little dippy right there. But I want to have let this water go that way. So bring this grade down a couple feet. Let that water go in there and settle in there. Uh, rather than go out to the driveway and wash away that driveway. I'd rather it just, we pitch it all this way. And come down this hill and go right. There's a big rock right here that's staying. I'm going to come around that rock and go all in that area right there. Good morning. It's about nine o'clock I got a little late start today I had to run a couple of errands before I got here but this morning I've got two loads of gravel coming two more loads for in here uh, that pine tree you see behind me we kind of undermine its roots a bit so I think I'm gonna try to push that one down today get rid of that and then uh, grade this area out behind me um, so that we get some good drainage coming this way um, when the rain comes down the driveway like we talked about so uh and then the machine's getting picked up uh, i've got to have it ready by three o'clock so i got six hours to get all this done um, the uh, gravel my friend that's uh, been delivering the gravel i called in this morning and uh, he agreed to let me load uh, his triaxle dump truck after it drops a load of gravel to move this material up, up to the pile up top. That'll make it a lot easier. This is, will be a one or two loads of material uh, as opposed to the small truck we were using the other day, which would be, uh, let's see, three or four loads, one load, so probably seven, eight loads. Um, so that should make it go much quicker, obviously.
Okay, today, today is one of those days where I get to the end, it's about 5 o'clock and I am barely able to walk, I'm so tired. But check out my driveway behind me. It's all in, 13 loads of gravel, rough graded. Graded as good as I can get it with the, with the machine, machines that I had available. Um, I took out all this material today. It was three triaxle loads, you saw me loading it. And I was able to blend that in nice. So now my hope is the water comes down here and it'll just sort of settle in here. And uh, we'll see. Again, I got to put my utility trench through that. So we can play with it. We can see what it does right now. Uh, we could maybe cut some more off of here so that there's like a little stormwater retention pond there. Uh, but ultimately, this will probably get planted with evergreens and mulched. And then uh, on this side, I blended this in a little bit. You know, it's not clearly done, and I got to pick up a bunch of brush and stuff. But uh, blended it in, started to blend it in, round it over, get it going nicely. So it's almost down to uh, hand work now. So took the tree out that was right here. So let me push it down. I got a little bit to clean up of that but uh a great day a great week the excavator's gone so i'm gonna take a couple days off and just uh chill out reflect on what we got done and figure out our next move get, i really want to get this looking really sweet maybe when jody comes to pick up his uh skid steer he'll work his magic and grade this off real nice for me so there's enough material there for him to work with so uh that's it i'm tired i'm home take a shower if i have enough energy maybe go out to dinner celebrate the end of this week and uh we'll get back at it next week so just remember uh you know the drill do what you dig dig what you do life will be good see you next time